Hello YouTube. I'm going to be doing something today here that I don't normally do. It's not my, my, my forte or not current forte. Um, usually gamer, um, musician, guitarist, photographer. Um, the thing of it is, I couldn't say no to this. Um, a friend of mine that I see at my local tavern, uh, my hole in the wall, my, my home bar, uh, older guy uh i'm 53 so he's older than me i'm not gonna say how old he is but um he's definitely been retired he's definitely seen the world for what it is and uh a long time he's quite experienced in life uh, his wife died uh, a few years back he knew about one storage container that she had rented okay turns out after she died that he got bills in the mail um there was eight storage containers she was a bit of pack rat he's a little bit of a pack rat too but that's okay um but she was way a big pack rat um i got some of that in me too <laughs> yeah believe me um i used to collect cards very heavily trading cards sports cards um 80s and 90s uh very very heavily um i had cards when i was a kid you know 70s stuff but nobody knew what they were going to be back then not not too many people anyway i mean i used to put trading cards with a clothespin on my um anchor of my uh my bike you know uh the the, uh, the wheel housing whatever you want to call it the frame I can't think I couldn't think of the, the frame and put a uh, baseball card in there so it would make all kinds of weird noises and nobody knows about that today and as far as the millennial goes you didn't have to research history that's the way it was a lot of kids did that because they thought it was cool sounding which it was it was cool sounding but you could have used a regular playing card instead of a trading card playing cards ain't worth shit trading cards in the other hand can be quite valuable um especially old baseball and football cards especially baseball so he gave me today he said he had a lot i had no idea um i've got four containers here um just ridiculous amount of cards here's one album Right here. This is just a little bit. I haven't even gone through this yet. I have no idea. Oh, there's some old tops. John Mayberry, a lot of John Mayberry. You can see that or not. Let's see if I can focus on that a little better. Uh, see, I. Part of being a pack rat, you lose shit. I have no idea where my, my ball head that I had for my camera is, uh, see if I can get closer here. You just gonna have to take more work for it right now. Um, there is a ton of old cards in here. Let's see what your, some of these are. I'm gonna take one out just for the hell of it. Man. It's a tiny writing. I used to be able to read that so much better when I was younger. I got an idea. Let's use my phone and go to camera. And it's. Nineteen eighty eight, right here. Toronto Blue Jays, Kelly Gruber. Not significant, but it gives you the air of what we're dealing with here as far as uh how old these cards are. So eighties is good. And these are put in albums, so
pretty freaking cool. Um, and I'm not going to go through this whole thing in front of you, but I, just like I said, this is the first that I've seen this. Ha! <laughs> you got a Kmart Tops 20th anniversary. 62, 1982. Is that an 82 card from Kmart? Well, Kmart and Tops, so I don't know. I've never seen a Kmart Tops card. 1980. No, okay, it's going to be 82. It says 1982, 1982, so. Yeah, 82 in the smaller print here. Mike Schmidt. Another Mike Schmidt. MVP National League. Third base from the Phillies. Wow. Well, okay. I know that's not uh, Babe Ruth or anything like that, but damn. A lot of Mike Schmidt. Brian Sandberg. What's a rhino? Oh fuck, this looks old. Who is this? Dave Dubushia. What the fuck year is that? I have no idea, but that looks, that looks old. I can get that focus a little better. It doesn't have a year on it, which is unusual for me. My focus is just killing me here. Come on. There. Okay. That's enough on that. I was just trying to get that fucking camera to focus. I'm, I'm really hating my T5i right now. Um, I even got an Emmanuel focus, but I got autofocus. Maybe I should just turn off autofocus. Yeah. Okay, I got an Emmanuel focus now. You mean that made me a little bit better? Still recording, I don't know why, but I took a picture. I don't remember the settings. Let's have my problems. Tony Gwynn, Padres. Nestle, uh, Nestle, Nestle put out cards. Oh, they got all kinds of stuff in here. Pete Rose, Tops. Grabbing you out, tops. Ah, uh, there's some kernel cards here. I'm a kernel fan of this. But this is came, came out as Baseball Legends 1981, Cromer Sports Productions, Satchel Page. Sandy Koufax, same thing, Morris Fan. Okay, I'm gonna go through this later. And there's no way I could do all this in one video. Oh, we're far I'm at, I'm at about 10 minutes, so. I just wanna show you just a little bit. There's more albums, way more albums. And it's not just baseball, it's football, uh, basketball, hockey. There's more pages from albums, another album, and a box. 
um, over here, and there's this big Lexan container, big, uh, God, I can't even, sorry if I'm jostling you around here. Let me do something here, hold on a second. I just wanna be able to get the gist of this. This is a mess right here, but, no idea what that is. Green card games. He said he's got Pokemon cards too that he hit, he didn't think I would be interested in, but I said definitely be interested in. Man. I'm going to uh, show you this mess. This is the, the messiest bunch right here. Look at that mess. Look at that. That is just beyond comprehension here. At least, I mean, it's a mess, but it's only like halfway full. That's okay. What's this? Celebrate record brain championship season with the worm. Oh! Dennis Rodman tattoos. Look at the price. A dollar. Dennis Rodman transfers. Wow, that's weird. We got a few of these in here. Um, I'm really interested in going these albums because albums are usually where people put their most precious cards and there's lots of albums here. So thanks for watching YouTube. I got to cut out my uh, 